मैथ्स मेला सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर फोर वेकेशन विद माय नानी मा पेज ट्वेंटी नाइन chirag and nandini love their nani ma she is their best friend they love playing and learning with her listening to her stories is their favorite activity we have pictures here of chirag along with her nani ma and in another picture on the right side we see chirag and nandini with nani ma who is reading them stories Nani Ma shows them a magic trick. You hide some marbles with your handkerchief. I shall tell you the number of marbles you have hidden. We have three pictures here where this magic trick is going on. We see some marbles on a table. Nani Ma is showing to Nandini. And in the third picture. Nani Ma tells her, "You have four under your handkerchief. Can you tell what the trick is? Let us do. Perform the trick on your friends. Write the numbers of hidden seeds in the table here. We have a table with three columns. Column one, total seeds. Column two, seeds on the table." column 3 hidden seeds 15 dash 17 dash 19 dash 29 dash 23 7 dash 27 12 dash teachers note Say a number between one and nine. The child has to quickly say the number which makes it nine. Repeat this task with other numbers like ten and twenty. Page thirty. Both of them have brought a lot of things for their nani ma. Nandini takes out nani ma's favorite sweet balu shahi. We see here a picture where both the kids have brought favorite things for Nani Ma. Nandini is saying, "We got your favorite sweet." Chirag says, "I know you love to read, Nani Ma, so we got some magazines for you." We have a picture of Nandini taking out Nani Ma's favorite sweet, Balu Shahi. To this, Chirag also opens his sweet box and says. I do got balu shahi for you. Nandini had seven balu shahi in her box, and Chirag had five balu shahi in his box. Nani Ma says, "How many do we have in total?" We see here in pictorial form seven balu shahi plus five balu shahi, which is equal to dash balu shahi. in the given blank boxes you have to draw the number of dots for your answer nandini says we bought the same number of balu shahi from the shop did you eat some of them chirag says ha 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 i did eat some how many did he eat dash balu shahi 7 balu shahi minus Five balu shahi is equal to dash balu shahi. Page thirty one. Chirag got nine story books for Nani Ma, and Nandini got seven puzzle books for Nani Ma. How many total books did the children get for Nani Ma? In pictorial form, we have these story books represented as dots. Nani Ma says. So many books for me. Dash books plus dash books is equal to dash books. Let us do. Use the tens frame to solve these. 
1. 6 plus 8 is equal to dash. 2. 5 plus 10 is equal to dash. 3. 9 minus 6 is equal to dash. 4. 18 minus 9 is equal to dash. We have two blank boxes here for you to give the answers using dots. Let us play. Card game. Make four sets of number cards with numbers 1 to 10. Shuffle and spread out all cards facing down. Take turns with your friends to open one card at a time. When you open, look at your card and the cards already opened. If any three cards make an addition or a subtraction statement, you can keep all three cards. Else, put it down opened. For example, Nandini opens 4. The numbers 2 and 6 are already opened, as we see in the picture given on the right side. So, Nandini can keep all three cards, 2, 4 and 6. The game continues till all cards are opened. Whoever collects the greatest number of cards wins the game. We have a picture here of different cards and there are numbers on the cards. Some cards are open and their numbers read as 4, 2, 1, 6, 9. Page 32 Nandini and Chirag have got their stamps to show to their friends and Nanima. The children say, Look, Nanima, we have collected 15 stamps. Nanima says, Let me give you some more. Here are seven more. How many stamps do they have now? Nandini, Chirag and Nanima figured out the answer in three different ways using their ginlari. Here we have three different pictures where a ginlari is used to figure out the answer in three different ways. Nandini adds seven beads to fifteen, counting from fifteen, taking seven jumps of one to reach twenty-two. Chirag adds five to fifteen to reach twenty and then adds two more to reach twenty-two. Nanima jumps from 15 to 25, a jump of 10, and then subtracts 3 to reach 22. 15 stamps plus 7 stamps is equal to 22 stamps, or 15 plus 7 is equal to 22. Let us do. Nandini and Chirag have 22 stamps. Nanima's brother gives them his collection of 30 stamps. How many stamps do they have now? We have a picture of a ginlari here. 22 stamps plus dash stamps is equal to dash stamps. Or 22 plus dash is equal to dash. Write the correct answers in the given blank spaces. Page 33. They now have 52 stamps. Nandini and Chirag count and find that they have 37 stamps with faces of famous persons and the remaining with pictures of monuments. How many stamps with pictures of monuments do they have? In a picture on the right side of the page, Nandini is seen telling us, I can do it this way. On the Ginlari, she first subtracts 2 from 52 to reach 50. She then subtracts 10 out of 50 to reach 40 and then subtracts 3 more to reach 37. They have 15 stamps with pictures of monuments. Can you find other ways of doing it? We have the picture of a ginnery here. 
52 stamps minus 37 stamps is equal to dash stamps dash minus dash is equal to dash write the correct answers in the blank spaces or 37 stamps plus dash stamps is equal to 52 stamps dash plus dash is equal to dash the kids now tell nani ma we have 52 stamps now next time when we come we will have 75 stamps how many more stamps will they need figure it out using the number line we have the picture of a ginlari again dash stamps plus dash stamps is equal to dash stamps or dash plus dash is equal to dash on the left edge of the page we have the stamps showing the pictures of famous persons teachers note different strategies of jumping on the number line for solving the problems should be encouraged throughout the chapter revise skip counting for small numbers in the class page 34 1 solve using a ginlari a 34 plus 6 b 23 plus 12 c 33 minus 5 d 42 minus 15 2 a frog is jumping on the ginlari he is at 7 he wants to jump 10 beads at a time mark the beads that he will jump on and write the numbers we have a ginlari given here with number 7 marked on it the frog is sitting on number 7 3 the frog again jumps forward by 10 each time mark all the places where the frog will land given here is again a picture of ginlari with the frog sitting on number 23 4 the grasshopper jumps backward by 10 each time mark all the beads that the grasshopper will jump on and write numbers here we have a ginlari with a grasshopper sitting on number 76 some ants are carrying big leaves to their homes they will eat these leaves in the rainy season nani ma can tell how many ants there are without looking under the leaves can you also tell how many ants there are under the leaves fill the answers in the boxes provided from the left corner of the page on the bottom we have a picture a number line coming all the way to the right bottom and then extending all the way to the top right edge this number line starts from number one and goes all the way to hundred with some blank boxes in between write your answers in these boxes also there is a picture of nanima looking at the ants and smiling page 35 5 fill in the tables by jumping as instructed jump 5 34 to 39 to dash 56 to dash to 66 82 to 87 jump 6 28 to 34 59 to dash dash to 71 67 to 73 jump 9 29 to 38 12 to dash dash to dash dash to 39 84 to 93 fill in the rest of the blank spaces with the correct answers let us play adding and subtracting smartly with the number grid let us play a grid game each player takes turns rolling two dice to make a two digit number and moves the counter by the number they have made they can choose to move forward or backward the first to reach a number between 91 and 100 is the winner we have the picture of a grid here 
starting from 1 at the left bottom and going to 100 on the top right side. Teacher's note. Encourage children to add two numbers on the grid by playing the game. If you can't go forward, move backward. If none, roll again. Page 36. Chirag says, Nandini is at 23. She has got 11 on the dice as the number. She thinks of two ways of moving to 34. Nandini says, Chirag is at 19. He gets 54 on the dice. A jump from 23 to 34 is dash steps. 23 plus 10 is equal to 33 plus 1 is equal to 34. Again, 23 plus 1 is equal to 24 plus 10 is equal to 34. Help him move his counter to the correct number. On the left side of the page, we have a number line from 0 to 100 with jumps of 10. 1. Use the number grid to answer these. Show your thinking by drawing arrows in the grid. We have the picture of a grid from 1 to 100 here. A. Nandini is at 45. She gets 34. She will land on dash. B. Chirag is at 75. He gets 56. He will land on dash. C. Nandini is at 30. She gets 66. She will land on dash. D. Chirag is at 89. He gets 63. He will land on dash. Teacher's note. Introduce children to different words to express addition. More, added to, total, sum and subtraction. Take away, difference, less, reduce. Provide opportunities to children to make such jumps with other numbers and help them notice the pattern in the numbers. Page 37. Magic Sums Nandini and Chirag find some puzzles that Nanima had solved. Observe the numbers. What do you notice? We have a grid given here with some numbers in the boxes. The numbers are 5, 2, 8, 3, 1, 6, 9, 4, 7. There are some other numbers written below and on the right side of the grid. 17, 7, 21, 15, 10, 20. Fill the boxes given here. In each puzzle, all numbers 1 to 9 are there. The numbers in each row add up to the number in the box on the right. The numbers in each column add up to the number in the box below. Dash, dash, 1, 11, 5, dash, dash, 16, 8, dash, 4, 18, 16, 22, 7. Puzzle 2. Dash, 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 7. 3, 5, 7, 15. Dash, dash, 4, 23. 12, 15, 18. Puzzle 3. Dash, 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 10. Dash, 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 12. 6, dash, 9, 23. 10, 19, 16. Add the numbers in the blue boxes and the numbers in the red boxes in each of the puzzles. What do you find? Nanima was doing something in the newspaper. Nandini and Chirag looked into what she was doing. 
Here we have the picture of Nani Ma doing something in the newspaper. Nandini says, Nani Ma, what is so magical about this square? We have a square here with the numbers 2, 7, 6, 9, 5, 1, 4, 3, 8. Fill the blanks to complete the magic square. Dash, 3, dash, 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 9, 6, dash, dash. Magic, magic, magic. With numbers 1 to 9, add the numbers in a line. From left to right and from top to bottom. Did you find the magic? Now, try from right to left and from bottom to top. Isn't it magical? There is something more. Something more. Add the numbers on the diagonal. Isn't it magical? Teacher's Note The teacher can create similar problems and challenge children with puzzles. Page 38 Nandini and Chirag went to their Nani Ma's field. Nani Ma has two fields. We have the picture of Nandini and Chirag visiting Nani Ma's two fields here. Nani Ma has plucked 25 red radishes and 36 white radishes. How many total radishes has she plucked? Nandini starts by drawing the problem on the ground. She draws red radish 25, white radish 36. She asks you, estimate the total number of radishes dash we need to add 25 and 36 to find the total number of radishes. Chirag says, I will add using bundles and sticks. 25 red radishes, 2 bundles of 10 sticks plus 5 loose sticks. 36, 36 white radishes, 3 bundles of 10 sticks and six loose sticks. 25 red radishes plus 36 white radishes is equal to dash radishes. 25 plus 36 is equal to dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces. Nandini says, See how I do it on the number line. We have a number line here from 0 to 100 with jumps of 10. Nandini does the addition like this. She adds 5 to 25 to reach 30 and then adds 10 more to reach 40, adds 10 more to reach 50, adds 10 more to reach 60 and then one more to reach dash. Find other ways of solving the same problem on the number line. You have a number line here from 0 to 100 with jumps of 10. Page 39. Nani Ma puts tomatoes and carrots in a box and writes 100 on it. Nandini says, I remember she had put 65 tomatoes. Chirag replies, We need not count the carrots. We see the picture of a box here with both tomatoes and carrots. Nandini draws the given problem. The total is 100, so 65 tomatoes can be pictorially shown as 6 bundles of 10 sticks and 5 loose sticks. So, how many carrots do we have? Your estimation of carrots? Dash. Circle the bundle of sticks that shows the correct number of carrots. 1. 3 bundles of 10 sticks, 2, 3 bundles of 10 sticks and 4 loose sticks, 3, 3 bundles of 10 sticks and 5 loose sticks, 4, 5 bundle of 10 sticks and 2 loose sticks. Solve this problem on the number line. We have a number line from 0 to 100 
with jumps of ten. Dash tomatoes and dash carrots. Total dash vegetables. Dash plus dash is equal to hundred. Dash tomatoes taken out from a box of hundred vegetables leaves dash carrots. Hundred minus dash is equal to dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces. Teacher's note. Encourage children to share their thinking behind their estimates and answers. Page 40. Nanima asks Nandini and Chirag to pluck the ripe apples. We have the picture of Chirag and Nandini with baskets with them which are used to collect the ripe apples from the tree. Nanima is showing them the way. Nandini says, I collected 85 apples. Chirag replies, I plucked 67 apples. Let us see how many total apples we have collected. Nandini is saying in the picture, 80 and 20 is 100, so they would be more than 100 in all. Draw a box diagram for the problem here. You have a rectangular blank space provided. 85 apples can be pictorially shown as 8 bundles of 10 sticks and 5 loose sticks. 67 apples can be shown as 6 bundles of 10 sticks and 7 loose sticks. How many are these? 10 bundles of 10 sticks, 5 bundles of 10 sticks and 2 loose sticks. So the 10 bundles of 10 sticks can be shown as 10 different bundles of 10 sticks, which have been grouped here. How many apples in all? One bundle of 10 sticks can also be shown as 10 loose sticks, as given in the picture here. Page 41. Try finding out the answer on the number line here. We have a number line from 70 to 170 with jumps of 10. 85 apples plus 67 apples is equal to dash apples. 85 plus 67 is equal to dash. Who collected more, Nandini or Chirag? How much more? Chirag draws a box diagram for the problem. On the top we see a line extending in both ways with 85 written on the top Below it we have a box with 67 drawn on it and another box next to it with you to write the correct answer. Nandini's apples can be shown through pictures as 8 bundles of 10 sticks plus 5 loose sticks. Chirag's apples can be shown in the same way as 6 bundles of 10 sticks plus 7 loose sticks. How much more? One bundle of ten sticks and one loose stick. Dash, dash, dash collected, dash apples more than dash. Write all the correct answers in the blank spaces. Teacher's note. Create more such word problems. Allow children to draw and solve them using locally available materials. Page 42. Solve the following problems by first drawing the box diagrams. Use matchstick bundles or a number line to find the answer. 1. Bubbly Didi sold 34 books on Monday and 45 books on Tuesday. How many books did she sell in the two days? How many more did she sell on Tuesday than on Monday? 2. In a cricket match at Rosary School, Team Red made 56 runs before lunch and 65 runs after lunch. How many total runs did they make? 3. Rama sells varas in the school canteen. She has sold 39 varas the first day. She sold 12 more the next day. How many varas did she sell in these two days? 4. Gehu brings 
56 plants for her terrace garden. Some plants dried up. She is left with 29 plants. How many plants dried up? 5. Choose two numbers. Make a word problem using the two numbers. Share it with your classmates. Here is some blank space provided for your answers. Let us play. This game is to be played between two children. The first player should say a number between 1 and 10. The second player adds a number between 1 and 10 to the first player's number. The first player again adds a number between 1 and 10 to the previous sum. The player to reach 100 first is the winner. An example is given here. Player 1 wins this round. This game is shown here with the help of a table with three columns. Column 1, Player 1, Column 2, Player 2 and the third column gives total. Player 1, 9, total 9. Player 2, 10, total 19. Player 1, 8, total 27. Player 2, 9, total 36. Player 1, 10, total 46. Player 2, 8, total 54. Player 1, 10, total 64. Player 2, 10, total 74. Player 1, 9, total 83. Player 2, 7, total 90. Player 1, 10, total 100. Player 1 wins this round. Play this game with your friends. Page 43 Let us do 1. Estimate the answer and say if it will be more or less than 100. Match with the correct one. We have two different columns here with these puzzles. Column 1 134 minus 56 20 plus 41 150 minus 49, 199 minus 90, 70 plus 30 plus 1, 156 minus 65. Column 2, 68 minus 26, 95 plus 10 plus 5, 109 minus 80, 63 plus 26, 124 plus 23, plus 20. From these two columns, we can know that some numbers are more than 100 and some numbers are less than 100. Nandini is telling us through a picture, 150 minus 50 is 100, so 150 minus 49 is more than 100. We have the picture of a number line given on the right edge of the page starting from 0 and going all the way to some number. We can see the numbers with jumps of 10 up to 50. After that, we have some blank spaces. 2. Solve these problems using a number line. Write the answer next to the problem. We have a number line from 0 to 100. Again, a number line from 50 to 150 and a third number line from 100 to 200. All the number lines have jumps of 10. Teacher's note. Please note that the number line can start from any number. The distance between two numbers can be changed as required. Children can also work with open number lines without maintaining equal distances between two numbers. They should be asked to write the jumps they are taking on the number line. Maths Mela, you were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Gaurav Marwaha and Vasundhara Bose. Sound recording and editing, Mayank Kumar. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.